Right, 2021, what a year. My first full year, full time doing this for a living. And as you've seen from the channel, we've purchased quite a few shirts. Just before we get into this one, as it is like a yearly review thing, I just want to say a massive, massive thanks. I know I don't usually say it and I'm not usually that serious on the channel, but a huge thanks for allowing me to do this as my job. Every single one of you watching this allows me to go to football games and talk about football shirts for a living. And that's just insane. So thank you so much. If we can hit 2000 likes in this video, just in case you guys can show me that you've enjoyed the content this year as well, that'd be much appreciated too. But huge thanks again for letting me do a full year of being full time doing this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Right then, if you don't know how these yearly reviews work, they are basically where I talk about my biggest individual shirt purchases of the year. Shirts I've acquired in mystery boxes and shirts from like videos where Jody spends money on me, they don't count. So for example, this was from a football shirt hunting where we bulk bought. This was also from a mystery box. This was from a football shirt hunting bulk buy. And that one was from when Jody bought me shirts. So these shirts will not be discussed in this video. They're just my biggest individual shirt purchases throughout 2021. And I can guarantee you, you will not have seen all of these shirts. I've specifically saved some and not spoken about them in other videos, just so you guys can have a surprise at the end of this one. Let's get into it. All right, so first item we're going to talk about is my vintage England sweatshirt. It's probably the item I wear most in my videos. I actually picked up for £50 on the 20th of January this year. It may feel like I've had it for longer, but no, I, I picked up at the start of this year. And you can see it overlaid on screen. It's one of them items. It's probably the item I get asked about most saying, Ellis, where did you get that from and where can I get it? I got it from Grailed and I've seen this be listed for like £350 by other places. Don't pay that. You can probably get it for like £100 to £150, but it is so nice. To be clear, this isn't being done from like smallest purchase to highest. It's done in order of... Drop the shirt. It's done in terms of date order. So next up, we've got arguably one of my biggest purchases of the year already. It is the Fiorentina 1997 home shirt. Those of you who are around the channel for a while will know that this shirt was like number one holy grail for me. I love the Nintendo sponsor. I love the yellow going down the sleeves. I think it's so iconic. I love it so much and I'm so happy I have it, especially in long sleeve as well. I paid £250 for it. And I think that's, that's probably about the market rate, to be honest. You might be able to get it a bit cheaper, truth be told. But that's how much I paid. It was one of them shirts that I always wanted. And when it came up and the opportunity to buy it arose, I had to get on it. Next up, another shirt considered one of the most iconic of all time is the Mexico 97 home shirt. And where the 98 is actually more iconic. But it's the, it's the same shirt. I paid 168 for mine. I love it. I've spoken about it loads of times on the channel before, so we're going to move on. Those of you who have been around for a while know I love sweatshirts and I love FC Porto. And when this opportunity came up once again for £55 to get this sweatshirt, I've never seen another one. And the proof is we're pretty sure it was only ever issued to players, hence why we've got the 11 there as well. 11 would have been Derle, one of the most iconic Porto players of all time. So there's reasonable... Thoughts, that's not a sentence. It's reasonable for us to assume it was issued to Derle or a youth player. So cool. Oh, it's very cool. Very cool indeed. Another really interesting one we've spoken about on the channel a few times is my Palermo Dybala shirt, which I spent 110 on. Palermo Dybala shirts are very rare. They never come up with the sponsor. The sponsor was worn in a one-off game. To, it's just like the Palermo saying. Keep calm and Tutu Al Barbera. You can never buy it as a fan. And this is the original printing. So we're thinking it had to have been issued to Dybala. It also helps that it was sourced from Palermo's kit man. So <laughs> it's at very least probably 99% sure player issued to Dybala. Next up is the first special edition we're going to talk about. We are, of course, talking about the AIK special edition shirt they brought out for their anniversary. I believe only 360 of these were ever sold. So for us to have one is really cool. The box is arguably nicer than the shirt itself. The box is amazing. So look at the box. Biggest purchase after that was Barca's 0405 away shirt with 
Messi on the back for £75 on Depop. I think it's great with the name set being in the condition it's in. Pretty sure it's an original name set. Um, but it, with the modern shirt market, you know, most big companies are just applying name sets anyway. So I, 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 have, I have no way of being able to tell anymore. I, I don't know, basically. Back to special edition shirts. The Napoli Marcelo Ballon collab. I paid £125 for this. This is number 775 out of a thousand. Only a thousand were ever made. I've had offers for like 300, 400 pound for it already, but I love it so much. It's going to stay in my collection for a long time. And then I'm going to pass it down to my child who's going to go, Dad, I don't want this. And they're going to sell it. <laughs> Speaking of where we've got with special editions, it feels like a lot of special and limited edition shirts now aren't very limited or special edition. Like this Dortmund one, I think they did more sales of it than their home and away shirt last season. So they actually did really well in the... I got Haaland on the back. I paid £89 for it. Um, I think it's an amazing shirt. And I don't think you should only buy shirts thinking, oh, it's rare, so it's going to hold its value. I wanted it because I like it. Um, but still, I think it's a bit bad from Dortmund to run it as a limited shirt then keep extending that limited date. And when we went to Dortmund in their club shop the other week, they still had loads of these in their club shop. So... It's a fine line, but I think if you're pretending an item's limited when it's not, it doesn't sit well with me. And we're seeing it more and more now. £350 got us a Holland... I keep dropping the shirt. <laughs> £350 got us a genuine original Holland 88 with Van Basten on the back, which is just so cool. We have done an entire video talking about it, so we're going to move on. Another shirt we've done an entire video on, £390. <laughs> It doesn't even show up very well on the camera. It's one of them that looks so much better in person, but it is the Dortmund blackout. We've got Royce on the back, £390. I think 350 to 400 is probably what the going rate is for these. But once again, I mean, 9,000 of them were made. That's like, that's not, doesn't make it that scarce, does it really? So I think you are literally paying because whoever has theirs isn't going to sell it. But there are 9,000 of these in circulation, so I don't know how it has that value to it. This next one is just completely me being annoying. I didn't buy it. I was given it for a brand deal I did on Instagram. It's for Succession. So it's like one of two ever made. It's a heart shirt with the Waystar Royco, Now TV branding, and then Succession Series 3 on the back. This is just my way of saying, has anyone watched Succession? It's so good. Series 2 ended amazingly. Series 3 ended amazingly. It's also me saying right now, if you haven't seen Succession, watch it. This next one for £93 is an example of a shirt I purchased really smartly, I think. 93 for this, by the way, is an amazing deal. The only issue is obviously you've got wood one on the back, so we just need to remove that, and then it becomes like a £200 shirt. It's one of my favourite Leeds shirts of all time. It's just so mental that you have to love it or you're going to be like Ellis that's disgusting there was once a time when Norway's away shirt from this season <laughs> was impossible to get so when I got the opportunity to get one with Haaland on the back I spent 103 pound you could then get it on Nike a few weeks later for 40 <laughs> but you couldn't get Haaland's name on it so at least there's that not every shirt purchase you can make is going to be a winner like, a lot of what I do is trying to show where you can get cheap shirts. But if I make a mistake, I'm also going to gonna address that too. We're not all perfect. I'm just very close. What? Speaking of mistakes, got a match-worn Messi shirt for £1,470. <laughs> to be clear, we did get a full refund in the end. But people have actually started, like, making conspiracy theories that I only do the match-worn shirt videos to then be like, oh, it was fake. Why? Why on earth would I ever do that? Like, I want a match-worn Messi shirt. That is, I would sell every shirt I have to get a match-worn Messi shirt. That's how serious I am about getting one. I don't... <sighs> also, another one is Atletico Mineiro's Manto de Massa special edition shirt, which was... £83. It's been half a year now, hasn't turned up, but people in the UK have been able to get them for like a week or two now, which is... <laughs> you might notice now we're getting a bit closer because we've got Fiorentina's band shirt, which he paid 224 Once again, did a whole video on it. 
check that out if you want. But briefly, it was banned because of a nasty symbol. Next up, another shirt we did in a video. The No Gallagher Match Worn Special One of a Kind Oasis shirt, which is... We did a whole video on it, but I didn't really title the video about Oasis. But it was £1,300, a shirt that Noel Gallagher wore in a charity match. And he gave it to one of the sound engineers when they were making Be Here Now. It's just... Uh, ridiculous. Right, time for four items you guys haven't seen. Starting with this Bayern Munich sweatshirt we picked up off eBay for £69. I love sweatshirts. Look at the design on this. I've never seen another one similar. That is ridiculous. Like, see it overlaid on screen. It is so 90s. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's so, so cool. Aware that Napoli have been dividing opinion a lot with their special edition shirts this year, but I thought the Halloween shirt was amazing. They only made 1,926 of them. And as you can see on screen, I got shirt 216. So... Very cool. I think I paid 135 including shipping. Uh, I'll get the shirt out, actually. There is the shirt. I think it's really cool. In the game they wore it, Osherman scored. So I had to get Osherman on, on the back because, I don't know. I just thought it's going to have more in significance to me in years' time when I look back at the game and see why I've got the shirt. And it's going to be because, obviously, he got the goal. It's so good. I think it's going to get a lot of stick, but I really like it. These final two items... I haven't actually unboxed, so let's do it. Okay, let's go. Item number one is a special edition centenary shirt that Portugal released. They only released 500 of them. Um, they didn't actually wear it in a match, so it's kind of a bit contentious, but I thought it was really cool. In the box, you don't just get a shirt. You also get this limited edition retro style football, which I think is, is pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, a hat. Does it actually work as a hat? No. And here is the boxed 100th anniversary Portugal limit edition shirt. It is, it's a very cool box, let's be honest. Um, I've never, like I said, I've just, literally just unboxing this now for the first time. Um, let's have a look inside. We've got a certificate of authenticity. That's nice. But like, what I think is really cool, I'll show you guys and then I've got an overlay on screen. The box layout is so professional. That is so good. I, I can't, I'm not going to get the shirt out of there. As a collector, I'm not. Like, I'm not going to even think about doing that. That is so nice. That is unbelievable. In terms of presentation, so good. Right then, so the final item. We're actually ending this on a match one. <laughs> so those of you who don't know, um, Palmer actually had a special edition Black Lives Matter kit. They wore for one game last season. Obviously, they ended up getting relegated. But I thought it was really cool. And at the time, they listed all the match-worn shirts on their website, which also is very cool. I wish more clubs listed like match-worn shirts that were just left over because they have a field day. And in that game, Bruno Alves scored the goal. And this shirt got purchased by Northern Ireland Classic Shirt Company. I believe it originally listed for like 550, because uh, that's what he had it on his site for. But then he did a 50% sale on orders over 150 quid. So I got this for half of that, so I think I paid like 265 or something like that in the end, I think it was, or something along them lines. So, let's have a look. There we go, there is the box. Let's have a little look inside. Ta-da! Comes with a certificate of authenticity. This is my first time looking at this shirt, by the way. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a look together. Oh, it is, it's like blackout, isn't it? Look, on the front, proper blackout there. And on the back, you've got the Bruno Alves. Oh, that is so... So cool. Does it smell of Bruno? I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. For those of you who don't know, once again, the FC Porto link with Bruno Alves is so cool. And obviously the fact they wore the shirt once and he scored the goal in the game has a lot of significance. And the fact this match worn, I've spoken a lot about me wanting to kind of move to more like less buying less shirts. But because I've got like Mo I've got more than enough shirts to wear. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to buy regular shirts. Like, those people keep asking me, is the retro shirt market down? No. Like, it's here to stay. But I think I've got most of the ones I want. So for me, it's like, can we get match worns where possible? And I think that makes really cool content for you guys to see as well. But this is, this is a gem piece, isn't it? They're so, so good. So good. And there we go. That concludes my biggest football shirt purchases of 2021 video. 
Once again, bear in mind, we have bought some other significant shirts, but like I said, they've been in, in different videos, so they don't apply to this one particularly. But uh, a huge thanks for the support once again in 2021. It's been really cool. We've got over 150,000 subscribers now. Um, in the new year, we're going to hopefully be moving house, so we'll get a new setup. Um, I have said for a while I want to change the setup on the videos, but while we're in between trying to find somewhere else to move, it doesn't make any sense to move a whole new setup worth of stuff in here to then move in hopefully a month or two. So this iconic <laughs> back truck will go eventually, then we'll have a... We've got a whole new one designed. This is when we... I'm waffling. I've been Ellis. A huge thanks for all your support in 2021. Subscribe for more away days and more football shirt content. Ciao, ciao. Bye.